But before we go any further, for those of you who are currently not a part of the New York City improv scene, it might be beneficial to have a quick improv comedy history lesson. In its modern form, improv got its start in the United States in the Works Progress Administration during the Great Depression, when Viola Spolin and Neva Boyd developed improvised theater games to unleash creativity with focused play. In the 1950s, Spolin moved to Chicago and began conducting improv workshops with the Compass Players, the country's first professional improvised acting group, which included some monumental figures of improv, including Mike Nichols, Elaine May, and Del Close. Many consider Del to be the founder of modern improv. Rather than seeing improv as an acting technique or a tool to develop material for written sketches, Dell saw improv as a noble craft worthy in its own right. Dell directed at Second City and later worked with Sharna Halpern at the Improv Olympic, comedy theaters with alumni like Bill Murray and Tina Fey. Dell developed a long-form improv structure known as the Herald. While the content of the scenes is all made up, the structure of long-form improv shows is often decided ahead of time. For example, in the Herald, a team of eight players ask the audience for a suggestion, they riff on the suggestion to generate ideas for the scenes to come during what is called an opening, and then they repeat cycles of three two-person scenes followed by a group scene for 30 minutes, with each cycle heightening on comedic ideas developed in previous scenes. Sound complicated? It is. In the early 1990s, four of Dell's students, Matt Besser, Matt Walsh, Ian Roberts, and Amy Poehler, formed a comedy group calling themselves the Upright Citizens Brigade. The UCB4 moved to New York City and by 1996 had a sketch show on Comedy Central and had founded a theater dedicated to teaching and showcasing the type of long-form improv they had learned from Dell. Since its founding, the UCB Theater has become the country's premier training ground for up-and-coming comedy talent, with a long list of illustrious alumni going on to write and act in TV and film, including Bobby Moynihan, Ed Helms, Aubrey Plaza, Ellie Kemper, Zach Woods, Ben Schwartz, Adam Pally, Donald Glover, Paul Shear, Rob Riggle, Aziz Ansari, and many, many more. The UCB Theater later expanded to a second venue in Los Angeles and a third venue in New York's East Village. Thousands of students take UCB classes every year in the hopes of joining this emerging comedy dynasty. There, now you've got the basic idea of what these crazy kids are talking about. Let's get on with the documentary. 